Cranbridge School is a school for pupils with severe learning difficulties and pupils at school are aged between three-year-olds and 19 years of age. And to support those 116 pupils, we have um, around 70, 80 staff that work at school. So with the onset of the new curriculum, it was a good opportunity to just look at the purposes of Crown Bridge as they've been over the years and just examine those and sort of be curious really about whether we needed to review, refine those um, and develop them further we look to see how are we going to look at our long-term progression across the curriculum um, in light of the new curriculum developments. Well, we knew that they weren't going to be subject-based, so that meant we needed to unpick that long-term progression map and try and look at it in terms of AOLEs. We've been deconstructing that and we're in presently um, forming triads to be able to do a bit of accident research to be able to test things out and see what works and what doesn't work. Because we keep evolving and we keep changing, you know, the way we approach planning. It's, it's about working together within your AOLE. Mm -hmm. Talking about as you're doing the plan, we all plan together as much as possible. And obviously you adapted for the best needs of the, of the children involved. But you would talk about what what's going to hook your children in. What, you know, what subject wise are the children going to be engaged with? Yeah. Um, uh, in order to then deliver those skills that we find that we know are important. And working within an AOLE group, you know, as a music subject leader, I felt sometimes quite isolated. And now I've got other people that I can just bounce ideas off. You know, it's really useful planning together because you can come up with ideas that you might not have thought mm. of for your particular group from people with other specialisms in terms of, um, you know, the a ASD-ness or um, subject specialisms. So with such a wide range of pupil needs, everything we do at Cranbridge has got to fit within the entitlement of the national curriculum, but also recognise their ALN or statement in needs and provide for their individual ALN needs. So I think the new curriculum to me um, is accessible for all pupils. I think, you know, from our point of view, we've always been a pupil centred school and, you know, we've always understood the importance of a bespoke and a curriculum. Um, and making sure the curriculum, you know, fits for everybody. So I think having it realised within the new curriculum, it's not one size fits all, it's quite a bespoke curriculum and we do try our best to, you know, to make sure, well, we, it's, it's, um, it's fit for purpose, to make sure the curriculum is fit for purpose for everybody. But if you've got children who are able to discuss things with you, they can identify that they want to do certain subjects. For example, they might like want to do gardening or work in the cafe, but lower down the school, for non-verbal pupils, the pupil voice is identifying that some pupils really like being outside and, and you know, doing forest schoolsy type things. For other pupils, they really, we know we've got to do the pupil voice for them, so we know they wouldn't want to do that, that's, but they'd enjoy music or something instead. That's where the engagement profile comes in yeah. then, especially for your PMLD pupils, um, you, you know, where they don't necessarily have a voice where they can say, I like this, but through watching their engagement, you can create a profile on them that shows them at their best. So you can um, cater um, activities for them. This is a purpose, driven curriculum. It's not a target assessment driven curriculum. So that again sits comfortably. It's more about, you know, thinking about what's really appropriate, where do we see them in the future, what's going to get them there. Um, and giving them opportunities to practice those real life authentic contexts. So things like um, we've got a cafe on a Friday and that hits loads of the AOLEs and skill base that the new curriculum offer. So that's what we're all about is those mm. blended learning experiences that give really good meaning to our kids. We have always tried to engage our pupils to the best of their ability. And I think our ethos has been the same for our school. But what's, what's quite nice is now you haven't got to cover things that are yes. subject driven for pupils that are only, you know, P4, P5, who really need, what they really need, which we've got a license to do now, is we can just focus on those skills without having to tick a box. The long term map is being looked at and it's not so uh, specific. I've got the freedom now to yeah. um, spend a bit more time on what they're interested in, and that's really exciting. Yeah the teachers are able to incorporate more of what is important to the pupils as well as what's important for the pupils. 
And, and I think the proof's been in the pudding when you see how more engaged the pupils are and how, you know, they love being part of activities that they've they've wanted to see in the curriculum. Mm. As a teacher, there's nothing better than having those smiles on those faces and having those active participants mm. that want to be doing the learning that you're offering them. Really, it's a very exciting time at Cranbridge School because there's not many times in your career when the nation would be writing um, and creating a new curriculum, as well as looking at an ALN reform, as well as looking at professional standards for teachers and teaching assistants. So. Where we are now is we're looking together with teachers at the research and triad working that's been included in the ESTIN curriculum innovation reports, themed reports, and in the professional learning agenda. Uh, that can those um, AOLE teachers now, they've got timetables to visit classes to look at particular things that we're interested in terms of pedagogy, but also to apply that to any research that they do on those areas and bring it back and that will inform my strategic plan. The ideas are constantly evolving. So, you know, things are just getting better and better and it's, it's better to suit the different needs of the pupils or because there's different provision available, how you spend the budget could be affected by that. And, you know, things just continually um, improve really.